And I appreciate that. I appreciate it. it makes things a little more interesting. Oh, nope, 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 no. Nope. Okay. Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday. And, uh, you might be expecting that we get a new teammate this episode. Uh, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. I mean, we have earned it, but Scout has not finished the bug gym as of this recording. So, because it turns out there's a uh, quite a bit of quite a bit of land between Mesa Goza and Cortondo, quite a bit to explore. So, that does mean that we'll probably still have plenty of time to train up that new addition as Troopa. But it also means that, you know, we're not, uh, we're not quite there yet, you know? We, we, we don't, we gotta wait a little bit. But I'm not terribly worried because we have Cheerio, we have Fuegon. I think we can handle the bug gym right now. Like, if we were to just somehow fly to Cortondo without being there, I'm, I'm pretty sure we could handle it, so... For now, we're just going to gather resources, you know, for, for later. And I think that will serve us just well. There are a few places around here that we have not quite, uh, not quite explored with Troopa. So check those out we'll just uh we'll battle what few trainers we have to battle you know and we'll catch up eventually with scout scout will eventually catch up that's what i mean okay brambling uh grass type pretty sure uh, if it really is Grass Ghost, then I don't really want to Groundula in because the Groundula will still be neutral, I think. Because I think Ghost is this bug. I think. Not sure, actually. But we know Fuegon will be fine, so let's go with Fuegon. Uh, and we'll hit it with an Incinerate. Easy peasy. Yeah, the <laughs> turns out scary part's over for now. Cause that uh that fire crew base was pretty much all I was worried about for the moment. So I think we'll be alright. At least until we hit the psychic gym. Me thinks. We do still need to catch a Pokemon to trade over to Scout, actually. Uh, water type Dunsparce. Meh. Uh, those are Poros. Oh, oh. You are fire type, right? Yeah, okay. I couldn't remember whether Litleo was also fire type. I know Pyroar is, but couldn't remember for a sec. Just one bout. Do what you got again? Greedent. Right. So I think we're fine here. I don't expect it'll have like Thunder Fang or anything. So, a few water pulses should. Okay, more than a few water pulses. Oh, it's stockpiling. That could be an issue. Um. Hmm. hmm. 
Okay. If we go into Sabrina now, we should be all right. If we were to wait a turn or two, it would be dangerous. But I think Sabrina should be fine. Getting hit with a uh, spit up at one or two stacks shouldn't be bad. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, then we'll just drain punch. With our quick claw. <laughs> Good stuff. Fills this up. And you didn't have anything else, right? Okay. Didn't warm you up at all. Nope. Losing doesn't have to do that. Uh, okay. Throw to ground shell in front. And I should give Toxupra a held item. Because Toxupra could use one. Uh, let's see. Oh, we still have orange berries. Might as well. I mean, not like Toxupra ever really gets low, but... Still, could be handy. All right. Uh, who's in front again? Ground shot. Okay. You can get that. Okay. You know, I thought about something. I've been thinking about something. There is. A certain person on YouTube who calls himself probably the best Nuzlocker in the world. And it's, it's Pokemon Challenges. I'm talking about Pokemon Challenges. Uh, and he's got this philosophy when it comes to rule sets. Because obviously the Scout Lock is not something, at least not something I've ever seen anyone do. Uh, so I'd like to think that it was something that I made up. Uh, and he's got a philosophy, Pokemon Challenges does, where he tries to make it so that the optimal way to play is the most fun, which makes a lot of sense, actually. That's actually in line with how I think a lot of game devs try to make their games. Uh, and I can agree with that. So the thing I was been thinking about is, you know, does my do my rules for the scout lock follow that idea? What what would optimal play look like? Uh, and ultimately, <laughs> it's it doesn't really. And that's that's the conclusion I've come to. Optimal play in a scout lock as I've seen it now would be kinda kinda boring, actually. Dragon type? Interesting. Okay. Because uh, optimal play for a scout lock would be effectively just, you know, finish the entire game with Scout and then and then decide from what you have what Troopa has and also you know Scout would be taking down extensive notes on each and every battle and so I think if you optimized I think if you optimized your Scout lock run it wouldn't be Especially fun. Also, right, the fact that there's no actual level cap. Uh, there's like a soft level cap in like, oh, you, know, you can't send over a Pokemon of a higher level. Uh, but because there's no actual level cap, that means that y you can just grind to over level. And that will, uh, that will, that. That should be plenty for pretty much any challenge. Uh, so yeah, ultimately, <laughs> if Mr. Peachow were to do something like a scout lock, 
or you at home and you wanted to you wanted to play optimally all right because uh, the reason i'm not changing the rules because i think like i said i think i said it uh, i think it is a good idea to keep that in mind when you design the rule set is like is the optimal play style fun uh, But the reason I haven't altered the rules to make it so, you know, there's a level cap or whatever is because this is my own run. I know myself. I know that I'm not going to purposefully over level. I know that I'm not going to rush scout ahead super far to get more options to get, you know, every option for trooper or troopa. You know, because I know how I'm going to play, I know that I am not going to... Basically, I, I know I'm not going to optimize the fun out of it. Which is essentially what, you know, that philosophy is trying to bereft. I know I'm not going to do that. So I don't really need to worry about changing the rules. But if you are the type of person who would optimize this sort of challenge like you know, Pokemon challenges would, uh, then yeah, you could you could do with modifying this rule set. Because I do still think the Scout Lock is a neat idea. I think it's a, I, I think it's a, a neat little twist on what we usually see. Ooh, flamethrower. Yes, we're taking flamethrower. Uh, lose Ember. Yeah, I have I have confidence that I can still keep this interesting. Yeah, I mean, there's there's other reasons for stuff, too. Like, I think a level cap in a scout lock. I it. First of all, it'd be hard to with the no reference rule. It's they're they're kind of incompatible those two rules because uh, you're really not going to know what a reasonable level cap is until you I mean traditionally the way you do a level cap it, in a Nuzlocke type scenario is you base it on you know the gym leader's strongest Pokemon what is their highest level you can't go above that level that's the idea wow, that's actually a pretty good terror type um, but can't do terror raids in this one. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so that's that's the idea. Is usually, Grandchilla, you weren't supposed to fight that one. No, not that one. No, that's fine. Okay, actually. Yeah, so. The typical level cap rule doesn't really work with the no reference rule. Uh, they're more or less incompatible. You could do something like, oh, you know, every badge is 10 levels or something like that. Or, you know, you start at level 20 and then do five levels per badge or something. That could work. Uh, but even then, you know, balancing could still be an issue. Um... Yeah, it's you could do a level cap. I but yeah, it'd be I <laughs> I don't feel like figuring out what exactly would make sense, especially in the context of you know, doing a show or streaming or you know, playing for an audience like I do and like Pokémon Challenges does and like a lot of Nuzlockers do. So, yeah, that's that's a large reason why I don't have a level cap here. Oh, hey, give me cool. But maybe we'll have a level cap next time. We, we won't, but maybe, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying it for the outro. But anyway, as for this episode, that's a wrap.
did have an idea for another type of challenge.